Hey everybody, it's let me and finish her and of course Rusty the cat. How are you doing today, kitty cat? Huh? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? And uh the show did a video earlier. It's my turn to do a video. And uh unfortunately the sun started to come in through the window, so I might get a little bit washed out in part. I'm sorry at that. But you know what? That's okay. Um, the show did a really big, powerful video, and uh, I wanted to just um, talk to you about something about um, my channel. I got a little bit of a cold coming on, so bear with me, okay? Um, my channel originally started out as a uh, channel to cover spiritual um and uh, faith um initiatives and uh it has certainly done that and uh, a couple people have asked me um to make more videos on uh topics and sometimes it's not easy to come up with ideas because you know i like to get inspiration um uh, you know maybe you guys give me an idea what to talk about it helps I like to research it um, one of the users, Mr. Ryan Carey asking questions about me and Michelle and said to me, uh, said he found a situation with the two souls to be, um, a little bit disconcerting. And I, I have to tell you something. Science is now beginning to see, um, that what we used to think in science was totally buttkiss, um, is turning out to be pretty much correct think about it we were long, for a long time we we're looking for the god particle the higgs boson we finally found it we now begin to wonder if the higgs boson may be the interface particle between the dark matter and the light matter of the universe uh and the uh paranormal areas we are studying we're learning that there indeed is a life after death events uh, are based on real world um events from in um uh, near-death experiences and to ease um so to say that you can't have two twin souled people in the world is absolutely positively not true there is no evidence that says you can't see what i'm saying you you can't say they can't have twin souls because well obviously you can have twin souls Don't you find that amazing that you can have twin souls? It opens up a whole bunch of new opportunities for you. You can be, you can go places now. You can you can see the world around you in ways that you could never see before. Isn't that amazing? You're not limited to just thinking in a world of just basically one or two ways. I mean, that's the beauty of it. So, for example, um, the point is, is that if obviously if twin souls exist, as they do, then obviously does that mean uh, that God exists or God doesn't exist or whatever? Science is finding out that what theology and the faith systems have been saying for years are correct. So why couldn't there be a life after death? Why can't there be twin souls? Now, science is saying, guess what? Well, ma'am, damn it. You found out the fact is that they, they exist. It's impossible. Now we have to rewrite all the rules because now we now know that there could be twin souls. Of course they can't be. Why shouldn't there be twin souls? What's so hard about twin souls? The people do. I exist. Michelle exists. You exist. Your family exists. But what are we? I mean, are we energy? Just taking manifestation in a human form? 
What is he going for? That's what? Is that just necessarily someone with two arms, two legs, and a twat in the middle? Is that what a human form is? Is that all it is? Where do we get our firmware from? When we're born, who flashes their brain with the operating system that we all use to, to, to go through everyday life? Where does the operating system come from? Somebody wrote the instruction set. Somebody created the connection between all the neurons through the axons and the dendrites and the neuroreceptors. Who? Oh, not me. I didn't do it. Somebody created a consciousness. Everything that we do is based on something that we can see or can't see. So, to say that there cannot be another soul or another person in the same body as the first person is positively very limited thinking when the universe is showing us that there is more going on in the world than just what we see with our own two eyes. And if you got a cataract in your right eye like I do, sometimes what you see out of your right eye doesn't match what you see out of your left eye. Sometimes that helps out because we get a chance to peel the world back. We get a chance to see it from two different eyes. When we look at the world together, we see this world and it looks a certain clarity. But if I look at the world from my left eye, everything's razor sharp. Everything I look at from my right eye, everything's a giant fuzz and there's big halos around light fixtures. It's not kind of incredible. That's the that's the that's the funny thing. It's like, you know, everything that we do around us has an existence and has a reason. Me and Michelle are a couple. We have been come here together to teach, to to inspire, to uh, to give people a reason to keep learning and trying to help them to um, understand the universe around them. That's the whole reason we're here as educators and inspiration. Yes, my spouse is a North American Snow Queen, but that does not mean that's her only job. What are you supposed to do while well, there's nine months out of the year? Sit on your big fat ass? You gotta do something, right? And she suggested to Mother, and she says, I'd like to inspire to teach the people. To help them to broaden their minds and help them to understand the world around them. That takes a lot of inspiration to do that. So maybe, you know, maybe sometimes it's hard to understand that. Why are we here? Well, we're here to learn anyway. That's what we come to Earth University. Well, there's obviously got to be professors. There obviously has to be, you know, mentors. There has to be an advisory council. There has to be something... To help you decide what your future is. You don't just come here and basically sit in a frat house and drink beer. You came here to learn something. That's the reason we come here to Earth University. This is one of the hardest universities to go to. There are easier courses. You can take a remedial course on the other side and never even have to step foot here. We come here because we want the challenge. We welcome the challenge. And that takes a lot of it takes a lot of dedication to do what we're doing and we're doing it every day. Every day. So to answer all those people out there who are saying who have said in the past things about me and Michelle without even really thinking about everything and what we are doing. Think for a second. Of all the videos that me and Michelle have done, either together or individually, have you ever seriously wondered how in the hell can they actually come up with all this material? What do they do? Pulling it out of a hat? You know, what are they doing? Just basically almost like a giant raffle? You know, just writing little topics on little slips of paper, throwing them into a black hat, stirring it around, and pulling them out and saying, Oh, we're going to talk about death today. Doesn't always work that way. Sometimes we get ideas, 
from the other side. Sometimes we base on what we see in the world and we, we, we realize there are certain topics that need to be addressed. And that's what we do. We come, we come across ideas and we try to make it all work. That takes a lot of time. Incidentally, I'm sorry that the you know the the the, the, um, the lighting isn't perfect, and sometimes my hair looks gray and stuff like that. But, you know, that's it's hard to fix that when you got the sun coming in and then the sun goes behind the cloud, and then all of a sudden you get the exposure right for when the sun's in front of the cloud, and then all of a sudden it goes behind the cloud. You know, but that's the way it is. You know, that's life. Unless we were to switch the camera to uh, to shutter priority instead of aperture priority, but this camera can't do aperture priority. So but okay, that's I guess that's about it for now, but then anyway, we here's the point. I'm only got nine new subscribers. I really would like to get ten. One more. One more subscriber this week. Come on, guys. One subscriber would not hurt you. But the most important thing of all is I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you want to talk about. Let's go out there. Let's talk about ideas. Let's talk about creation. Let's talk about why are we here? What's, you know, let's talk about morality. Let's talk about whatever topics you want to talk about. That's all. Well, anyway, this is between me and Michelle's videos. I mean, we're both kind of tired. <laughs> Michelle's video was a screaming match. I mean, I God, I don't even want to go there. But you can certainly see it on her channel. But anyway, if you want to hear, I would love to hear from you. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to like or dislike share with everybody including your enemies and if you're not a subscriber yet please do subscribe and i'm going to try to work and get more videos up okay so i'll talk to you later bye everybody